working out. Uh, as I told our guys, we've been here before, you know, so we're not going to use that as an excuse. Uh, we want to finish this season off right. And I thought those guys, uh, everybody who played, uh, just played well. They played connected. They uh, brought the energy, uh, really good execution, uh, 32 assists in this game tonight. Uh, and uh, as we've always said, it really doesn't make a difference who's out on the floor. Uh, you know, the, the, the game should look the same as uh, far as the intensity and the execution. How did you think DeAndre Hunter looked out there? And just how valuable is it to get him a decent chunk of playing time as he's trying to build up? Uh, he, looked, he looked fine. He, he was okay. Uh, the games that he has played, uh, he looks pretty good. Uh, tonight, what I wanted to do, uh, I asked Trey and, and John to uh, give us uh, a few minutes because I wanted to start uh, Dre tonight, and I wanted that combination of players to play together. Uh, so they, they got an opportunity to play the first half. I thought Trey did a really good job of uh, getting Dre involved. Uh, calling some sets, calling his number, getting him the ball and uh, allowing him to play. Uh, and it was, you know, I just really wanted to take a look at that. So uh, it, it was good to see him out there. Uh, Zach Klein. Yeah, Coach, I was a little surprised to see John and Trey play that many minutes in the first half, considering what you told us pregame. Was it just the DeAndre factor? You need to get them on the same page because you can't replicate that in practice this week? No, it wasn't just that. It was we didn't have a lot of bodies. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't play seven guys uh, forty-eight minutes. So, uh, you know, those two guys are healthy, uh, uh, and I needed uh, to buy some time. I needed some minutes uh, for those guys to uh, to play. Cody. Coach, uh, it's one thing to be making your playoff debut as your guys get ready this week. It's another thing to be making it at MSG. How do you get them ready for this moment? Is there anything you can do? Well, uh, we'll, we'll uh, rest tonight and uh, tomorrow. Uh, they'll take tomorrow off. We'll get ready uh, to prepare for New York on Tuesday. So uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's another season. Uh, we've done a, a really good job in finishing off this regular season. But another season is about to start for us. Uh, what we want these guys to do is, is, is get away uh, tomorrow. Uh, we as coaches will start to prepare uh, to give information uh, to our guys on Tuesday and get them ready for uh, this weekend, the start of the playoffs. Back to Sarah. Um, Nate, just how impressed were you with Onyeka? He seems to keep making progress. Really good. I thought uh, he was solid tonight. You know, he it was an opportunity for him to get a start with uh, Clint being out, and he did a good job. Uh, Olenek is a tough uh, cover. Uh, he did a good job of staying in front of him, uh, rebounding the basketball, you know, finishing in the paint. Uh, you know, so he was a, a really good uh, two-way player for us uh, tonight, and it was good to, to be able to get him minutes and meaningful minutes, uh, you know, this, this last game before going into the playoffs. Okay, there are no hands raised right now. Any additional questions for Coach McMillan? Okay, Coach, I think we're clear. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.